The Delta state government has denied the report making the rounds that three persons lost their lives when a section of the Asapa Stadium collapsed on Thursday during construction works. This was made known by the contractor handling the project when the chief press secretary to the Delta State Governor, Mr. Olisa Ifejaka, and the Commissioner for Information, Charles Anyago, led journalists to the construction site. The construction works at the stadium, which is in preparation of this month's National Sport Festival, led to panic across the state capital after rumors of three deaths went round the town. Fielding questions from newsmen, the contractor, the chief press secretary to governor and the information commissioner described the incident as an accident which left one person injured. And as you can see, we will conduct you inside. All the slab and structural members are intact. Well, we have a minor accident here from the crane operator. The crane operator was trying to lift one of the trusses so and he, he lost his balance. So you will see, if by the time we go in for inspection now, you see all the structural members are good. That the window that came down, and nobody, no fatality like was being, was being uh, marketed. No, no fatality, nobody broke. died. Only the crane itself, you can see it yourself, that broke that place. And like as assured, in two days, it will be put back. So there's nothing, nothing to worry about. So they are going to repair it. By tomorrow, they said, they will be true with the, the with the fixing, so nothing to worry about. I can invite you back here tomorrow evening to see that they have fixed it back. Why we have asked you to come is because the stories we are hearing is that Stephen Kessie Stadium came falling and that individuals passed on. Nobody died. It's just a little bruise that somebody suffered on account of the war, and of course the person have even returned to work as well.